Moses Malone is widely regarded as one of the greatest players in the history of the game. He still holds the NBA record for most offensive rebounds in a career, a season, and a single outing. But much more than a dominant center, he was a friend to so many. Among those in mourning, Hall of Fame coach Lefty Drizel from Norfolk, who says he still can't believe it. I feel like he was my son, but, but he was more my friend than my son. Lefty Drizel was supposed to have dinner with Moses Malone on Sunday, but instead received a jarring phone call early that morning. He said, Coach, I got some bad news. And I said, what is that? He said, I'm in a motel with Moses' room right now, and I couldn't get in the room, so I went downstairs to the desk, and they let me in, and he's dead. He's in the bed dead, and I, I broke up and started crying, you know. Drizel, the longtime head coach at the University of Maryland, now in the College Basketball Hall of Fame, actually recruited Moses out of Petersburg High School. He's the best basketball player that ever came from the state of Virginia. I know Lonzo Morning was good, but he wasn't as good as Moses. Lefty later helped Moses sign his first NBA contract and would become one of the chairman's closest friends. You know, when he went pro, he could have just forgotten me. But he's always called me and come to see me whenever he's around here. And, you know, I always see him at the Final Four. You know, Moses is just a, one of my best friends. A 12-time All-Star who played for eight different teams over 21 seasons, Malone is well regarded as one of the best players in NBA history. Lefty says we lost much more than that. You know, he was a great player, but he was a better person. I mean, he never, I've been around him a lot. I've never heard him say a cuss word. I can't believe Moses is going. He's just unbelievable. And I guess the Lord has a time for all of us to go. And I wish he wasn't gone because I, I loved him. And I know he was, if I had have died, he'd have come to my funeral. That's the way I feel about it. I know he would have. A legend on the court and a friend off. Moses Malone, dead at 60 years old. I'm Nathan Epstein for the Sports Rat.